I'm going to show you how to upgrade an old computer to Windows 11, even if it tells you that you're out of support and your computer is too old to upgrade. This is a slightly different video from what I normally do. Well, the name of the channel is There's a Trick for That, right? And I have a trick to save you guys a whole bunch of money needing to upgrade your computer, when in reality you can actually make continued use of an old computer. So long as your computer is from about 2010 or newer, this trick should work for you. I don't know if Microsoft is in cahoots with the uh, manufacturers of hardware or what, but it really seems like a money grab to force a whole bunch of people off their computers that uh, work perfectly fine for them, like this laptop. The reality is Windows 11 is not that much harder for a computer to run compared to Windows 10. And so the premise of what we're gonna do here is we're going to simply disable the part of Windows 11 that goes searching for you know your hardware and the age that it is. I think it's called TPM 2.0 or something like that. All that you're gonna see is very legit and no piracy or anything like that. It's just a simple little uh, hack and uh, a modification to the installation of Windows 11 uh, to make it install on an old computer. Let me show you the first way that uh, I've done this upgrade before uh, and probably the easiest way. And then I'll show you a second way in case this first way doesn't uh, work. I'm gonna have a link uh, to this page. It's uh, open source stuff uh, from GitHub and uh, it's this uh, software called Flyobee, kind of a funny word, but uh, just uh, scroll down uh, a little ways uh, here. And uh, what we're looking for is this uh, area over here that I'm circling on the right with my cursor. This is uh, where it says releases. Currently at the time of making this video, the latest version is version 1.40, but anything later than that uh, will be fine. We're gonna go ahead and hit uh, this plus 45 releases. And now that we're on this page, uh, we're gonna just go ahead and scroll down here past the, the cute little B and uh, come all the way down here to the assets. And what we wanna do is go ahead and download this Flyobe Win 1.4.zip. Click on that, pretty small download, so it'll download pretty quickly. Now we're gonna go ahead and open the folder to where it uh, downloaded to. In this case, I downloaded it to my desktop. So I'm gonna come here and uh, click on it. Come up here to where it says Compress Folder Tools, and we're going to hit this button that says Extract All. We'll leave everything default here, click Extract. Now, uh, in this uh, window that uh, automatically opens, we're gonna do this Flyobe uh, software. You may get a warning like this uh, on your computer uh, saying that uh, it unrecognized uh, the app and uh, that it's risky. Go ahead and hit more info and uh, that will allow you to click this button run anyway. And uh, what we wanna go ahead and do is get Windows 11. So we'll click on that, we'll go ahead and hit run. And then this is where it gets super easy. Uh, forget about all this stuff. You can populate it manually if you want, uh, but uh, just come down here to this button and hit run autopilot. And uh, it's going to uh, basically do things automatically for you. So it's gonna go ahead and uh, download from the official Microsoft uh, website, the ISO file. So go ahead and say yes. You can see it's uh, opening Windows 11 uh, download here for us automatically. Simply just uh, scroll down and we just need to uh, find this part here that uh, says download Windows 11 disk image ISO for X64 devices. Uh, there's only one option for download, so we'll go ahead and uh, hit that. We'll go ahead and confirm this. It wants us to choose a language. Go ahead and uh, do English United States. Confirm. We'll go ahead and do the 64-bit download. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. It's a very large file download, so uh, be patient because uh, it could take uh, a little while. Okay, the download is finished. Now if we simply come back to this uh, upgrade assistant, it's going to ask if you want to enable advanced mode for compatibility patching. And I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. It's gonna ask you to find your ISO file. So we'll go ahead and uh, click it. In my case, I saved it to the desktop, hit open, and then it will proceed with the installation. I'm gonna not proceed at this point uh, with this because uh, I wanna show you the second uh, way of upgrading computer and I need to still have Windows 10 to show you. Using this Flyob software, I think is probably the easiest just because it's basically, you know, on autopilot, literally, as it says. But I have had a few computers where it doesn't quite like it. The second way uh, of doing things is a little more hands-on, but uh, has worked exceptionally well for me. So the first place to go is simply the Microsoft website where you can download Windows 11. But what we need to do is just simply scroll down here to the part 
where it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO for X64 devices. We need the ISO to make this work. So simply come to this drop box right here and select the only option available, Windows 11 multi-edition ISO. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit confirm. And it's going to ask us what language we want it in. I obviously am interested in English from the United States. So we'll hit confirm. And now there's a link to download the Windows 11 English. 64 bit. So we'll go ahead and click that. Just let it download. Then the next place you need to go is GitHub. I'll leave a link to this specific page. Now we need to download a piece of software called Rufus. The latest uh, version is 4.11. 4.11 or later will work just fine. All you're going to do is come down here to assets and download the Rufus 4.11.exe. And that is a very small file download. It will download in no time at all. And then you'll notice right here on my desktop, I've just put those two files right next to each other for easy access. Okay, next uh, what you guys are gonna need is one of these uh, flash drives and it needs to be eight gigs or larger. Windows installation is going to format this drive. So be sure and get everything cleared off that you don't want lost because it is going to format this drive. So simply plug it into a USB port on your computer, ideally a high speed port if you have one. Okay, next we're simply going to come to the desktop now and open Rufus. In this top drop down, it's going to hopefully automatically detect your flash drive, which it did for me. We need to now point it in the correct uh, direction for the ISO image. So come over here to select. And in my case, I saved it on the desktops and there it is. So we'll go ahead and open, leave everything as currently configured and let's go ahead and hit start. And this is where the magic happens. The most important thing to be sure and check is this top one right here where it says remove the requirement for four gig plus secure boot and the magic one right there, TPM 2.0. That's the one to leave checked in order to bypass the hardware check on Windows 11. And then there's some other really nice features here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account. I really don't need to sign into an online account to run my computer. I don't want that. So we'll go ahead and remove that requirement. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, have it create an account ahead of time. Uh, there's a few more down here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and disable the data collection. I don't need to answer all those questions for setup and I don't need BitLocker. I've never used it and I just, I don't need that. But all of these below the top one are optional. So feel free to do what you please. So with uh, the selections made, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. It pops up here with a message letting you know it's going to format the flash drive. We'll go ahead and hit okay and away it goes. Okay, Rufus is done, so we'll go ahead and hit close. Then simply open Windows Explorer and open up the flash drive. And we're gonna go ahead and run the setup. It's gonna ask if you want to get updates. I'm gonna say not right now, cause I wanna show you how this works. You can always download updates later. Hit next. And you've got all the lovely licensing agreements and stuff that uh, you must agree to if you want to proceed. So we'll go ahead and accept. And then this is so funny. It still does a check and tells you that uh, your computer doesn't meet the minimum requirements. Who cares? And because of our Rufus installation, we can push this button here that says accept and it's going to proceed with the installation. And we'll go ahead and install Windows 11 Pro and keep our personal files and apps. We'll hit install. All right, I hope this tutorial was helpful to all of you. Let me know if it was down in the comments. And if you appreciate uh, this kind of content, pure, simple education, please be sure and show your gratitude. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hype. Five 100% free things, but it uh, really benefits the channel. Sure appreciate all of you. Stay safe, and we'll catch you all next time.